on for sale now vehicle max is a beautiful 2007 cadillac escalate esv all-wheel drive dark metallic blue with black leather interior completely loaded up with factory navigation factory dvd factory power moonroof the 22 inch factory chrome wheels uh, the DVDs are the dual DVDs. There's one in the middle and one in the rear for the rear row passengers. Power tailgate, heated seats, memory seats, cooled seats, pretty much everything you can put on it with the exception of the power running boards. As a clean title and a clean Carfax, you can view right now for free at our website, vehiclemax.net. We are located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida. 33142 is our zip code. We are open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. To 6 p.m. Saturdays, 9 to 5, <clears throat> and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 30,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305 218 5462. Okay, as I was saying, has the uh, 22 inch chrome wheels with, uh, they're not new, but they're in really good shape, uh, matching uh, Bridgestone tires. Um, let's go ahead and uh, get it started. It also has remote start, power tailgate, which I'll demonstrate now. It's got parking sensors in the rear bumper, heavy duty tow and package, and, and uh, as I was saying, it's completely loaded. Let's go ahead and uh, get it started. Okay, before I sit down, I'll pan over the driver's seat so you can see it's in uh, really, really good shape. It's got no burn holes, no cuts, no tears, no discoloration. Matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats. Door panels, headliner, carpeting, and there's no odor of smoke, so it looks like the previous owner was a known smoker. The door panels are all black with a wood trimming. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, cruise control, tilt wheel, all that standard stuff. Power folding mirrors, memory seats for up to two drivers, dual power seat, power recline, and lumbar support up in the front uh, of the, both, you know, both the drivers and the passengers. Curtain side airbag on the front post, the middle post, and the start post, as well as seat side airbags. And uh, so I can't see it from here, but we'll get around to it when we get to the back. Okay, let's go ahead and get started and show you the interior options. Get the air conditioning going. Slide the seat back just a little bit. Okay. Let's lower the volume on the radio. Get the fan going. There we go. And let's put it right there where it's not too too high, so you can hear me talk. Okay. Um. <clears throat> all right. Uh, let's go ahead and put the navigation, so you can see the nav. And let me open the moonroof. The moonroof is a one-touch moonroof, by the way. You don't have to hold the switch for it to open. It is a glass moonroof, it is tinted, but also has this uh, hard cover you can slide manually that blocks the sun 100%. Okay? And let's leave it open for the video. Okay, there's your navigation screen. And um, let me go ahead and um, put the, okay, the movie, you can, I think you can put, watch a movie up here. It's a touch screen as you can see. Okay, and uh, spray plus spray. Give it just a second. Now you're able to, um, let me see the movie started back here. Start here, we gotta give it a second here. There it goes. Takes a moment for it to get going. <clears throat> All right, um, and what I wanted to show you is that you can watch a movie up here uh, as long as the car is in park. If the car is in, um, once you put the car out of park, the, um, you will not be able to watch the movie. Okay, so here we got the, your middle screen playing the same as in the front, and your third screen is over here. Let's go ahead and have a look at it from the back. There's a switch on the handle that works the same as if you press the... Um, the power switch. So I don't know if you can see it from here. All three screens playing the same thing. This is your um, the factory uh, roof mounted uh, DVD players. This uh, particular unit has a um, has two buckets in the front and a full bench in the middle, which is rare. 
Most of the ones have a bu two buckets in the middle, so you lose the passenger. So here we got a two, and three is five, and the back you put three more passengers because you get the full bencher. And they all have an over the shoulder uh, belt, one right here for the middle row passenger, and the other one right there in the middle for the middle row passenger in the rear. Okay, let me get back inside here. Okay, um, let's go ahead and uh, show you. Okay, the car has 90,394 miles. The car is running. Keep an eye on the tachometer on the left hand side. Okay, the reason I'm revving is so you can see that the car is running and that there are no check engine light on, no airbag lights, no service engine soon, no maintenance soon, nothing like that. The only light that's on is a little green light and that's our daytime running lights. When we put the vehicle in reverse, you'll get the uh, backup camera. Okay, and I'll show you how it works. We're going to go ahead and back up to those vehicles back there. Okay, there's our first set of warnings. And if you'll notice, on the rear post, there's a little teeny yellow light. That's our first set of warnings. When we get a little closer, we're going to get a second yellow light. That's our second warning. Okay, there's a second yellow light, and when we get really close, by the way, this is a rear bumper right here, we're going to get the last warning, and you can even go, actually, over here now we get the third warning with the red light over there, already back on there, Well, you can still go a little further, just to show you how accurate these are, and that's your final warning where you're about to hit it, okay, so let's go ahead and put it in drive, pull it forward a little bit. Okay, stop right here. Uh, now that the lever is down, I want you to notice that it has a positive and a minus here, and that's for the manual shifting option, and I'll show you in just a minute how that works. At the end of the lever, there's a, uh, a switch here for the towing haul mode. When I press that here, uh, you'll notice that the little wagon comes on next to the daytime driving lights, and that is your uh, towing haul mode, and what it does is it makes the transmission shift a little differently in order to adjust for the extra cargo load. Let's go ahead and turn it off for now. All right, um, let's go back here. Let's put it back in park for a moment. Okay, as you can see, we're in park there. Reverse. Okay, doors lock. Camera comes on. Sorry, neutral. Drive. And then if you shift it one more, you're going to come to the manual mode. And I want you to notice you're going to see a change now. You see how it now below the M you get a 1, where it says manual shift. Well, if I tap on the positive, you'll see uh, you make the transmission shift up all the way to six speed. It is a six speed automatic transmission. If I tap on the minus, it downshifts all the way down the first gear. But if that doesn't interest you, just leave it in drive and the six speed automatic transmission will shift on its own. Okay, um, uh, on the rear view mirror, there's a digital display for, uh, sorry about that, for a compass. Let's just know that it's uh, when you're heading in the east direction. Also the outside temperature, which is 86 degrees. Got the OnStar, and in just a few minutes I'll talk to you about that. Uh, we have also got what we call the Home Link or Universal Garage Door Opener. This is the program of the three gates or three garage doors. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pan around the dashboard while I talk to you about the OnStar. And I want you to notice uh, that there are no cracks, no burn holes, because uh, these cars are prone to getting cracks here, especially in this little corner right there. So when you're shopping around for one of these, you want to look around for that, okay? And uh, in the meantime, let me go ahead and talk about the OnStar. If you happen to get into a car accident in, in any of the airbags deploy, even the curtain side airbags, it will send an immediate signal to the OnStar Center to let them know you've been involved in an accident. They'll attempt to contact you through the car to make sure you're okay. If you do not respond within a reasonable amount of time, they'll dispatch emergency vehicles to come to your aid. Okay, also another uh, feature of the OnStar if you happen to lock your keys inside your car, there's a number they provide you with. You call the number, and once they identify you, uh, they can send an immediate signal to the car to get it open, which will save you a bunch of time and money, having to wait for a locksmith and having to pay a locksmith. You also got an emergency button there on the right, that's the red one, uh, and also the blue OnStar button. If you press that, you get to talk to an OnStar um, uh, member, and they'll give you turn-by-turn -turn directions until you arrive at your destination. If you buy this vehicle, you get three free months worth of OnStar in a trial period. And for other services that OnStar provides, just go to OnStar.com and they'll be able to answer more questions. I just gave you the, uh, just a few of the, of the details of what they do. 
The middle row bench is a power has power folding buckets, okay? And I'll demonstrate, not buckets, I'm sorry, bench seat. I'm gonna press the switch over here and you see what it does. And that's to gain access to the rear. Both sides do it. I'm only gonna do the passenger side just to expedite the video. Let's go ahead and change this to, uh, by the way, we have XM radio on this vehicle, but you have to sign up for the subscription. Right now it's on preview mode. Let's go ahead and put some music so you can hear the stereo. By the way, you can raise the volume right here in the steering wheel. Raise it and lower it. Here's your button for mute. This is to navigate about your preset stations. That would mean the ones that you set yourself. It goes from station to station, okay? The source is to move from AM to FM to XM and so on and so on, okay? Uh, you have an auxiliary port for your iPod. Uh, this, uh, the, uh, this is to seek any available station. Uh, this is to disable the parking sensors and you say, well, why would you want to disable them? Well, if you're towing a boat or a trailer, when you put the car in reverse, it, the thing will start beeping immediately because of the proximity of what you're towing. So you want to disable it so when you're backing up, it's not beeping all the time and uh, annoying you. This is to disable traction control. Uh, down here, I don't know if you notice here, we have uh, heated seats. This is to heat the entire seat. And you'll see it now come up here next to the 60. That's high, medium, low, and off. You can heat the backrest only. Okay. And this is the cool seats, and I'm going to go ahead and put it on the driver's side here. You can see it's got three speeds also, and I'm going to go ahead and leave it on because it's nice and warm outside today. Okay, power adjustable pedals. If you happen to have a uh, real tall driver or a real short driver, sometimes uh, uh, backing up the seat all the way or putting the seat all the way forward is not enough. This feature uh, allows this, uh, the pedals to move back and forth about five or six inches, uh, completely independent of the... Uh, power seat uh, which uh, helps out when you want to adjust the, feet, uh, the seat to your comfort. Not only do we have um, uh, heated seats but we also have a heated steering wheel okay and uh, there are cruise controls over here. Uh, the front power windows are one touch you don't have to hold the switch of the windows to go down. I'm going to go ahead and leave them down so I can pan around the steering wheel. The steering wheel is leather wrap as well as it has a wood trimming and I'll pan, pan around that nice and slow so you can see it's in great shape. In the meantime, let me remind you that we're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our, uh, our zip code. Open from Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5 and always closed on Sundays. Once again, if I missed anything or if you have any questions in particular, call me at 305-218-5462. Automatic headlights. The mirrors are heated and also have turn signals on them. And they're power folding, as you can see. Okay. Um, of course, we got all the rear power windows, power door locks. What else am I showing you? Uh, in here is your ashtray. This pops out into a cup holder. Okay. Uh, in the center console where you rest your elbow, uh, there's two uh, le two tiers of storage. You have the top tier and the bottom tier. And up here is the smaller section in the bottom. You get your deeper storage down there with a cigarette lighter adapter right there so you can power up your phone or charger. Um, I think we're okay to move on to the back, so let's do that. Again, if I miss something, just call me, and I'll be glad to go over it with you or respond to any questions you might have. Okay. Um, as I was saying before, oh, by the way, rear door panels are the same as in the front, all black or charcoal, if you could call it, with a wood trimming. And uh, this vehicle is equipped with a child lock protection. How it works is the following. You stick your key in there or a screwdriver, twist it to the left, and what that does is that disables this inside door handle. Just in case you get kids and you don't want them to be able to open a door from the inside, once you engage it, the only handle that will open it is the outer handle. To re-engage, just do the opposite. Stick the key or screwdriver in there, twist it to the right, and this handle will start working again. Okay, um... Let's go ahead and give you a little look at the headliner so you can see that it's not stained or burn holes or it's not sagging anywhere. Over in the center here we got two AC vents from the middle row passengers and another set of AC vents for the rear row passengers and there's also map lights underneath here, okay? Um, what else can I tell you here? Oh, uh, it's a little hard to see because it's kind of dark here, it's uh, 
sun is setting. Uh, here you can control the, um, by the way, this car's got dual, triple climate control. You can control the passenger side temperature and make it, let's say, 70 degrees, and the driver's side could be 60. And over here, the uh, middle row passengers can control their own temperature. So you can have 70 in the passenger, 60 in the driver, and 65 back here, however they want. Uh, you also can control the fan speed, the airflow. Here's the cold or hot, and over here, as you can see, if I can get closer, the middle row bench seat is also heated. Okay, you have a video input, so if you could power it through here, you could watch it on your screens up here. This down here pops out into a cup holder. Uh, what else? I think we're ready to move on to the tailgate. I saw the same before. There's three ways to open this tailgate. You could do it with a remote. You could do it by pressing here, or in the front, right next to the switch for the power folding seats. Uh, there is a uh, switch that opens the tailgate as well, so you can do it from up there. Okay, this is the uh, ESV, and as you notice, the rear seat is up, and uh, there's still plenty of space here for cargo. These rear seats is a 50-50 um, seat, which can be tumbled forward and propped up to the right of the back of the middle row seats, and gives you more space. Or if you want to go into full cargo mode, you can remove both seats or independent, they're, they're not attached to each other so you can move, remove one and leave the other one for somebody to sit on or you can remove them both and put them in your garage or wherever you want to put them. Um, go ahead and close back here. By the way, all the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not cracked, they're scuffed in any way, they're nice and clear. Uh, show you the tail light on this side here, I don't think I did that before. Okay, these are the parking sensors that were beeping when we're backing up. There's uh, two on each side of the bumper. This is your heavy duty towing package with the electrical connection, they're ready to go. Again, this is the all wheel drive version. So it's, uh, it's not a select four wheel drive, it always, it's always an all wheel drive high. Okay? Now, um, this, um, this seat props up uh, electrically, but to put it down, you have to do it manually. Uh, as you can see, it's very easy. You can do it with one hand while I'm holding the camera, so even a little kid can do it. Uh, right rear door panel. Of course, we get the child lock protection on this side as well. Right front door panel. So I was saying before, power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support on both sides. And let me pan over the seating area so you can see it's in great shape. Keep in mind, this vehicle has 90,000 miles, so it's going to have a little bit of wear. But for the mileage, it's an exceptional condition. It doesn't get much better. Okay. Um, I think I might have covered just about every important base in this vehicle. Um, I want to talk to you about financing for just a second. If we require financing, let me tell you that we have uh, excellent rates for good credit and we also have special financing for not such good credit. If you live a long distance away and you're concerned about the financing or you just want us to go ahead and get your pre-approved, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net, right on the home page you see a silver tab that says apply for credit, click it, fill it out completely, then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.